Uh, so you all hop over the fence and you're you're making your way forward with uh, Chaucer leading the way. Chaucer, Chaucer. And uh, as you're walking forward, you notice that the vines from the grape plants around you um, start to like rustle and shake a bit. And you notice that most of them have been trampled down and torn to pieces, but a couple of them like reach out towards you, almost like they're like grasping towards you. They're like, mm. slightly animated and they're slithering a little closer. Are there are there any ones that still have like grapes on them? Yeah, there are a number of them. Are are, are any of those moving? Uh, yeah, those are moving too. They're like wiggling back and forth. Mm, I pop a grape into my mouth. Uh, you you bite into it. It it splashes the the juice like splashes in your mouth and explodes across your teeth. And this wonderful sensation of utter calm and uh, superiority floods over you. Whoa. <laughs> I relay it to the team. These are some good grapes. <laughs> mm. <laughs> uh, as you do so, you notice a couple of the vines like reaching out, trying to grab onto your arm, but they are uh, it's it's an impotent gesture, and they, mm. they anytime they like try to get a grasp on you, they can barely do it, and they kind of mm. just falter a little bit and fall away. Mm. 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 We best not stay for some defense. So six feet, those. I'm gonna go up and hack them. Sure. How many? Uh, I'm gonna have a kind of handful, like maybe like four or five. Right. Okay, sounds good. You pop them in your mouth without a problem. Sweet. They taste delicious. <sighs> These things hit the spot, boys. <laughs> sure you don't want to bite. Would you say they're different than grapes you've had in the past? Oh, yes. Chaucer. It's weird. The taste is almost um, seductive. It's like, it, it's like it belongs in your in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I can see why uh, these Voxwood had such good wine. Like, I don't, I don't want to stop. Mm. Well, I know you don't want to, but we must attend to the wine. Imagine, yes, yes, Morris. It, well, if these grapes are as good as you say, imagine that wine. Hmm. It's there, true. There is a groaning noise that comes uh, again as another tremor shoots through the ground, and as you all look up around the house, you see a shadow of this uh, huge colossus come moving around the side of the mansion house. Mm -hmm. uh, through the mist, it is a bipedal creature that has the, the shape of a man, and you think you can see these thick, ropey bits like falling off of it and plummeting to the ground and hitting with thumps as it comes like stomping around the manor house and stomps in front of the front gate and begins to walk towards you, coming through the mist. Oh, nope. Golems can't see you if you don't move. It's big. It's probably like a good 12 or 15 feet high. I don't... I have a feeling that it's made out of vines. It's like a... Yeah. I could be I could be wrong. So is there anything towards so the manor's in front of us? So is there anything to the sides? There's more grape fields. Uh, there's mm. also a couple of garden sheds over to the left. Ooh. I don't know if I want to go out into those grape fields. Go hide. I Hop want, in the shed. I want to hide in the grape vines, but I don't. Know I feel like those grape vines were trying to like yeah. those grape they, vines they, are they, they seem in some weak. Way. They seem too weak. I still wouldn't lie oh, down in them. How about the shed? Oh, it's sturdy. The shed's close enough. See so the size of that thing? I don't think a shed's gonna protect us you, from a fifteen foot tall golem. You could try to make a break for the shed. Uh, mm -hmm. It'd be it'd be a run, but if you're quick enough, you could like you could get it. Could mm -hmm. we get into the manor? Do you think? Mm, yeah, if you really booked it, but you'd probably have to run right between the thing's legs. Oh, Jesus. oh dear. Um. So it's getting closer now, and as it comes through the mist, you can see its arm emerge. And indeed, uh, Morris was right. Mm -hmm. It's made of these thick, ropey vines. But in between the vines, you can see intertwined a whole bunch of like little tiny grapes. And every now and then, a vine will like shift, and you'll see the image of a skull or a rotted head in the vines itself. And it'll like move through the arm as it's pushed around by the vines. <laughs> we need to get out of this video. All the, all the men who have dared enter here. Its face and not made there. Its face is a tangled mass of thick, ropey vines, but it has two large indents where they dip it in, and one where they dip it in a little bit down here, so it looks like it has eyes and a mouth. So we see, we haven't seen anybody yet. No. Like, it's just been, like, I'm imagining we, like, walk through these great fields, and it's, like, this misty morning, and there's, like, a crow calling or something like that. Yeah. Okay. I use my cane to cut. Um, I guess I take my pistol out and yeah. shoot it in the face. Okay, um, so you you cut, use cut a cane. Off. Okay, yes. so you cut off. You can cut it off, no problem. Okay, um, it's fine to cut. But off as you as you cut off the vine, yes. uh, you notice that this black like syrupy uh, liquid like floods yeah. out of the vine itself. Just oh kind of... no! Same oh. right. Uh, okay, so you shoot shot roll yes. damage. One. So your your pistol goes off with a crack as it flies through, and the uh, the bullet fl whizzes past the thing's head. Just mm -hmm. so. The reason is you roll damage to see if it hits, but some creatures have armor, mm -hmm. and if the damage reduces the armor, I usually describe it as just missing. Okay. Um, 
So it, it whizzes past the thing's head, but it turns in the direction of the shot and lowers its head, and it seems to be looking right at you. And you hear this this massive, like, uh, come out, and it reaches this viney hand down towards you as it begins stomping I forward at an increased gate coming yeah, to the Yeah, I get, I get as far run away from to the manor. Yeah, yeah. I, run, I run to the manor. Ragul? Right through its legs. Royce. Royce. I gotta, so you're all going to, like, book it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. But I'm, I'm being careful not to try. All right, if you all go left, I'll go right. But yeah, go ahead. Going to try to juke it? Yeah. yeah. Give, me, give me deck saves. Okay. All of us? Yep, you're so all trying to run. 1d6 or 1d6? Uh, no, 1d20, yes. roll under your score. There's a 1! Ah! A 3! 8! 16. Oh, oh. Did, you, did you fail? I have a 9 in dex. Okay. So yeah, I, I think so. I made it with a 3. Yeah, you guys you guys all passed that. Yeah. And you got a 1. <laughs> so you're like, yeah, you, you, you all speed ahead, but Sneaky Pete was too busy cutting down the vine, and uh, this thing this thing catches up to him. Yes. Um, so you you can are I, like, can I use my one to like sneaky spot him and like juke back around and and like pick him up and get him going? You want to like lead this thing on a chase or? Yeah, or just like like so I go this way and it bears down on Sneaky Pete. It decides that's who he's gonna try and and clobber. And so I see that and I see Sneaky Pete has like tripped over this vine he was trying to cut. And so I like speed back and grab him up and like pull him out of the way just as the vine starts slamming down into the ground or something. Sure, that's great. Uh yeah, are they are there crits? Uh, there are not crits. No. Oh, so, well, okay. So that one doesn't mean anything. Well, it it, does curious. it can. Okay. Okay. It oh. can mean stuff. All right. I I'll just see him. Yeah. Okay. Right, cool. Um, it's an it's an OSR system, so like yeah. We can yeah, yeah. So okay. So yeah, you you run back and you're like yeah, you, you get sneaky up. Like what? Yeah. Uh, sneaky, come on, let's go. Thank you, Royce. So you pick him up with this huge like vine hand comes. Oh. Slamming down right next to you, just boom. Nice and as you look in as the vines undulate, you can see a corpse that kind of like flows by oh. and then gets crushed by the vines. Oh, heavens. Wow. And not a single one of those grapes pops? Uh, not a single one pops. Wow. <laughs> uh, the mm. head like turns, so it's like, it's got its head, hand down like this, and the head like goes, uh, as it turns towards you and picks its way up and begins stomping towards you again. Uh, you guys should roll deck saves again. Yes. Let's boogie. Ooh. Oh, now got, you, uh, now you are the one. one. And we, I we, fail. We switch places. <laughs> All right. Yes. Yeah, so you, <laughs> you're you're carrying both of us. As, as as he picks you up, you shove him to the ground. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, thanks, buddy. <laughs> yeah. So what, what do you want to do? Do you want to? Okay. How, how does this turn out, guys? Okay. So so describe what happens to Dan. Uh, right now, right well, now. I'm gonna say the one can save him if you want. I want like to. Do. Okay, absolutely. So, so I what, owe him. No, I owe him a, a trick. What 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 happens? I I use my chilling cloud to create a fog, and we get out of there. <laughs> you okay. Fog in uh, fog. Usually, if you want to use, it's a little flower. Oh, by the way, not a oh, it's a little it's a little ice squirt flower. Yeah, okay. It's a little... <laughs> you, usually, if you want to use an arcanum in yes. a way it's not meant oh, to be okay. used, you, you, roll it before you can make a you can make a will save okay. to see if you want to use it that way. Um, okay. You don't have to do that to get away from this thing. Okay. Uh, but well, I'll just roll that into it. That makes more sense. So yeah, you you just create this mist, and the thing is like, and it like freezes for a second as it inhales this, and it gets a little disoriented, and you you guys go running off to the manor house. Cool. All right. So um, you crash up into the manor house, meeting up with uh, Chaucer and Morris. As you guys run in there and you crash away inside. Uh, the front door is ajar. Uh, have you guys gone into the house before they get there or? Uh, yeah. No. Uh, you you do. But I want to at least open the door. Uh, you can open the door. I'm going to be at the doorway. So the door is like slightly hanging ajar. Oh, okay. Yeah. As you get up to it. Like. I ran in that direction, but obviously I do. Um, yeah, I want to make sure that. Uh, well, yeah, I want to make sure too, yeah. but we gotta see what we're going into because if it keeps coming at us, we're gonna have to go in the house. Yeah, I'm gonna. I won't go in, but I wanna. Uh, I wanna throw the door open when we get there. Yeah. Okay. So you throw the door open. Uh, it is a big, wide open uh, entrance hall. It's got those that classic like double tiered staircase going up to an upper balcony, at least to the second floor. Mm -hmm. um, there are a whole bunch of dead Luxian soldiers around this place. Uh, Luxian. Luxian. So those and, are the guys who attack. Yeah, Luxian. Yeah. And you can recognize a couple of dead Loxwood like, men as well, but they didn't really have a huge militia on site. Um, so it's weird. Like, a lot of the Luxian soldiers, as you're, like, peering in, they've got, like, this weird, like, um, 
like holes oh. that just like go right through their skin. So like it'll be a hole and then a hole on the other side, and it doesn't look a bu- bullet wound. Like it's way too clean. It's like does a perfectly it, bored hole. Does it does it look like the size a vine could fit through? Mm-hmm. Uh, no, they're like all different shapes oh. and sizes. Oh, okay. hmm. I take oh. out my hand drill and spin it idly, <laughs> wondering. <laughs> So, uh, as you peer closer in, in this room in particular, the wide open entry hall has been despoiled by a massive hole in the floor. Uh, it's like something heavy fell and cracked the wooden planks that held the floor up and like crushed it open and dragged the fine ornate rug down with it. So you can see like the tail end of the rug tassel peeking up out of this deep hole. And as you look up, there is a chain that kind of hangs from the ceiling where something was obviously hanging beforehand, but it's, it's sh- been cut. Chandelier. It's been yes. shorn. Hmm. So Could be. You're just looking at it from the doorway. So you guys get up to the door as this thing's like coming, stomping towards the house. Go in, go in, go in. <laughs> yep, yep, I run, I run in. Okay, and, and look around in. for shut the door. Yeah. For weapons and fire starting things and all that. <laughs> okay, so you, you is places there, to hide. So, um, is there anything in the foyer foyer area that uh, like a like a chest of drawers or? A desk or some type of table? No, not not in the main entrance area. Um, mm-hmm. There are basically three exits. There is a hallway to the left, a hallway to the right, and the big wide double door okay. so, at the top of the stairs. Because if we wanted to board up this, like blockade this door, there isn't anything. I don't. Th- I don't think anything it would we take could a lot do. of time. Um, but yeah. as you guys shut the doors behind you, you hear like the stomping from outside, and then there's one final groan of you think frustration, and then you hear this stomping as the thing turns around and begins to walk the opposite direction, Ooh. and it stomps away from the manor house. Oh, it Can it not make its way inside? You gotta have a safe haven from your own golems. I thank you, Rux. It seems like a patrol. Oh, I gotta thank manor. you. <laughs> I wonder if there's anything about the manor that Let's investigate. keeps it from coming in. I'd like to closer mm. look at these wounds. Sure. Uh, like, 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 I'm like, are they so they're clean? Yeah, they're totally clean. Like, it's it's like it's if it's as if somebody had like just popped out that hole in the person. Uh, and like the 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 wound is all like on the inside. Is it like? completely clean or cauterized or uh it is cauterized yes oh okay it's completely it's completely burned near you know on the inside it's hmm. totally clean hmm. and they're they're all over the place like there's tiny some of them have tiny holes in like their arms and legs another one has this big like kind of circular hole right through his chest hmm. but they're always in perfect circles and they always go all the way through and there's a hmm. perfectly exit circle on the other side well there's no guts or anything anywhere so, since like, most of the room's just, wounds were cauterized there's just a yeah. spattering of blood along the wall yeah hmm. Oh, what do well, you suppose could have done this? Whatever it is, I don't want to meet it. <laughs> Whew. Well, where's our uh, our next move? Well, I, uh, I assume those, those it's a vineyard. They, they, they keep it. No, they keep it down below. Yeah. You can investigate the whole. I want to investigate the double doors. Hmm. Should we split up and investigate? I guess we could go as long as we're in the same room. We go top down. That sounds good. Top down. I don't see why not. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. So one thing we're definitely going to have to think of is once we find the wine cellars or whatever they store the stuff in, how are we going to get it out of here? Barrel mm-hmm. of wine. I guess we can just roll it down the hill. Yeah. But if we find a hill, we have to go up or toast. Uh, we could always bury it. Come back later. How does, how does that get us any further than we are already mm-hmm. right now? <laughs> just, just well, we know where the wine is. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh... Maybe once we explore this area, we'll find a better way of getting out of here. Yeah. And I bet they've got to have equipment for moving barrels around, right? I mean... They're a winery. Yeah, that's... Yeah. Wheelbarrow? It's their... Uh, Something. They Maybe figured out. It's their bread and butter and wine. Maybe yeah. you guys can so. get your friend out there to carry them. <laughs> you, <Maybe>. you can... <laughs> Maybe. Right, someone, a little bird told me you can control some certain people. <laughs> You've got a, a, some, a magic rod of sorts. My Morris mask. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yes. Is that what you Come want? Come on. Your, your yeah. Mosby mask? This is his Mosby mask. <laughs> no, Morris mask. <laughs> his, Mos- his Mosby mask. Your, your Mosby don't, mask, right? Don't, don't take this from me. <laughs> <laughs> My Majora's mask. <laughs> uh, been drowned. Uh, All right. Gosh. Um, so what's the next move? You you got you got we'll top hallway lead yeah, left, hallway lead least, right, let's, double doors. Let's go. Let's look floor. down the hole. We don't need to go down. Okay, just yeah. peek, peek down the hole. Yeah, let's look yeah. down the hole. It's probably yeah. it's probably best not to peek, just peeks. jump down the hole anyway. Peek. We could probably uh, I use my spyglass and we try to light it up. If anyone has a flashlight of any sort. Cool. 
Cool. Yeah. Uh, so you peer down into the hole. Mm-hmm. How deep does the rabbit hole go? How about we just... Yeah, you can set one of the bodies on fire, throw it over. Yeah. Yeah. So you, see it. You, you peer yeah. down... Do you want to set one of the bodies on fire? Or? Mm, no. no. Okay. We definitely don't want to do it. I think you should. <laughs> this could be an experiment. I think this is a good idea. So you, you peer down into the hole, <laughs> looking over it, and you can see that it, it's quite the drop. Um, this, this basement is very, very deep. Hmm. Which is weird because um, most basements in these houses don't go as deep as this one does, but maybe it's deeper down to keep the wine cool. Wine you know, some, yeah, it. some sort of moisture um, thing. Yeah. yeah. As you look down below, uh, you can see from uh, just like the the light that kind of drifts in through the upper windows of the mansion house, you can barely make it out. There's like this wrought iron chandelier down below that's like been crushed and twisted and broken at the bottom. And there's this uh, body of a dead Lexian soldier that is, like, impaled on one of the spines of the chandelier at the very bottom. Um, it's a crazy it, chandelier. If you... <laughs> to have broken all the way through to the bottom. If you, uh, if you look if you look closely at it, you think uh, you can see, like, this, like, these scuttles of movement in the shadows. Mm. Why don't you light one of these, these guys on fire? Throw it <laughs> if, if I look right above the hole, does it appear like a chandelier? If you decide you, to do yeah, that, there's the short I won't chain, stop short you. Chain, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But look, look, if you don't want to, I'll do it. Give Let's me the tools. Yeah. I can help you t- chuck it in. You know, cool. Cool. What do you guys have to light this body on fire? I certainly don't have anything. No, I have oh. acid. I have acid. Oh, oh that could oh, that acid, acid fire, acid will but melt, I don't light it on fire. fire. Yeah. Yeah. Blast. I guess we search for matches. <laughs> no, I guess. Man, I could have sworn you. Hmm. Okay, never mind. Then. I, can, I can light them on. I, I can make them icy. I can make them colder. But well, could light the way. Put acid on them, but that's. I can't put it on fire. Well, that's certainly spooky down there. And I guess we'll have to get down there eventually. But we're going to like even if we, like if that's where the wine is, yeah. we're going to need a ramp to get stuff out. Oh yeah. There's something. Logistics. Maybe. If Mechanics, mm, simple machines. Hmm. We, I, yeah, we could pull up a block and tackle. I Maybe like well, to stab one of the bodies. Try. My, uh, well, here's another thing. My math teacher brain. Maybe if we search the house some you more. Yeah. So you you, you Wait, shove you, you shove your your knife into this body and you you pull it out and like this this thick black blood like pools out. Black mm. liquid. Like, 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 normally, like it normally would with a dead yeah. body. Um, that's not unusual. <laughs> So maybe if we search the house, we might be able to find something. If you're really desperate to like light some on fire, to no, yeah, I'm not. Desperate. But uh, I'm saying I'm... that like it's either we jump down in the hole or we investigate the house. No, there's I want no jump down the house. Well, you were putting words in my mouth. I'm gonna investigate. The house. Right. I'm going, I walk <laughs> All right, upstairs. Double doors. Okay. Double, double doors upstairs. Wait. Don't okay. do it. You you both ascend the stairs to yes. the second floor oh, yes. and uh, enter in through the double doors. <laughs> like this doesn't need to go on longer than. <laughs> Like spend seven minutes to be on. We can burn a body with no tools in order to burn anything. Yes, that's dungeon crawling. I'll tell you what. <laughs> Where's our ten foot pole? It's we really important that we burn okay. this body. <laughs> uh, Key to our whole oh, operation. We chain vines together. They seem strong. Oh wait, I've got a spyglass. The sun the magnifying glass. We can start a fire. Oh, there you it's go. Not that is not feasible. <laughs> All right. Pass. Shoot a fog. So you, you open the wide double doors onto a uh, second upper hallway that is large and winds around. There are smears of blood along the wall here. It winds looks, around. Yeah. It looks Ooh. like there was there was heavy fighting going on at this hallway. There are, are again, a number of uh, dead Luxian soldiers. These guys have a couple of stab wounds and stuff. Some have Ooh. gunshot wounds. And again, you see, like, the, the holes, like before, yeah. the weird hole wounds. Mm-hmm. Um... So as you look around, this hallway is wide and, and wraps around to the uh, to the right. Um, and there are a number of double-doored entrances that you'd imagine lead into bedrooms or some other ante-rooms on the second floor. But directly to the right of you, there is a massive window pane that seems to be built into the interior excuse me, of the house that goes all, all the way around. And as you're peering through it, you can see like that this house seems to have this odd feature of this inner garden built within its walls. Hmm. Um, so you can like peer through this these window panes and you see like there's there's a section of the house that is just like a f- wall of a window like the wall is a window and within that room that the w- walled window creates there is a garden with like a stone gazebo and stuff like that as you peer down um, you can see that 
so you're looking into the window from the left here, and like across the way, the window a little far away from you has this massive hole in it as if something was thrown through there. Mm -hmm. And looking down, you can see that on the stone gazebo, there is this body that just hit it with a massive impact, and like its spine probably snapped into or something, and it's just lying there dead, just turned to the left. It looks hmm. to be the corpse of an elder man with like a white graying beard, and he's wearing these bluish hmm. robes. It was probably I, someone important. I investigated the body. So it's I, like it's like down below. You guys are on the second to, okay. floor. Yeah. Jump down. You'd have to find a way to get back. You'd have to either jump down or find a way to get back down and around and into the garden okay. some well, other way. Maybe like their bedrooms and stuff. Got, still got some spare change. Yeah. At least loot we wouldn't lose. Yeah, I mean as long as we're here looting. Yep. Yeah. Yep. We might yeah. as well loot it back. We, we yeah. continue. We're we are men of search. men of morals. To the Here's what we're here for. Yeah. To it's the not want not. Yeah, exactly. It's not, you know. Not benefiting anybody else, unless no. they can get in here and take them themselves. Exactly, so. we're doing we're doing this uh, place of service. I, I, I brazenly enter the the nearest door. Okay, uh, the nearest door yeah, is to some brazen. is to the left of you, and okay. as you um, <laughs> as you as you slam the door open. <laughs> Is brazenly. Yes. Right? Yes. Very so you see, this is a massive, uh, huge open bedroom. It's got a, a built in bath mm -hmm. over to the left oh. of it, mm -hmm. or over to the right of it, that has like tile floors surrounding it, hot stuff. There is a, hot stones for heat in the bath. There is a large four poster bed, and a number uh, of two soldiers who look to be in like this fine Loxwood regalia. You recognize the insignia. They obviously died fighting here. Uh, as you look straight on, you can see on the four-poster bed there rests a body um, of a man dressed in like uh, regal clo regal looking clothing, regal merchant's clothing. Uh, it looks like he hastily put on this like half-formed leather armor. It's like got some of the buckles undone and stuff. He's got this stab wound that's in his gut, and he's he's obviously quite dead. And he's laying there on the bed, just kind of like this. And there are four uh, bluish floating skulls hanging um, around his body, hanging near it, and, like, floating yeah, around it. Normal. And every now and then, like, a, a piece of this, like, blue mist will float up from the man and transfer into one of the skulls. Mm -hmm. And as you as you push the door open... It's still... It's st uh, so, so when did this battle... <laughs> about two weeks ago. Two weeks ago. Yeah. And these skulls are still collecting. And as you, as you push... Is that, is that a normal thing? I don't know anything about no, it. No, it's you never you guys never seen this before. Okay. And you, as you as you push the door open, uh, one of the skulls like turns around to face you, and you see its cold blue eyes uh, lock eyes with you. Give me a will save. Hey, hey it meets it. It meets it. Uh, that's fine. Meet, <laughs> meet, meet or get below. Meet or beat. Baby. So yeah, you you, you feel for a moment you feel uh, like you're frozen in fear, and then you shake it off just in time as the skull mm. opens its mouth wide and goes flying right for you. 